Hi, this is BK from ManforWars.com and ManforWars Media, where I'm promoting polite patriotism to help nice ladies and gents worldwide, offline, locally teach kids to look, talk, and feel great, and help the same polite patriots worldwide, offline, locally discuss and share great info they find online as better people making better places to live, giving their neighbors a chance to think for themselves, and so on. So see the description for more on that. Uh, but this video is called uh, May 16th, Toronto Lockdown Protest, from 500 to 5,000 celebrate a great day in Canadian history. And um, yeah, um, the upcoming uh, Toronto sort of uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, shutdown and lockdown protest is, uh, is going to be at Queen's Park, north of College and University from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. And it's going to be on Saturday, uh, May 16th, 2020. So uh, do show up, do enjoy uh, a great time with uh, possible family and friends and people interested in, in, in coming out. And I'm going to go through um, a couple of um, a couple of reasons why this could be a great day in Canadian history and how if there was at least 500 people last time, as lots of video evidence suggests, there could be 5,000 people this time or hopefully the next time. Um, <clears throat> and in a city of, you know, two, three million downtown, five million the GTA, that shouldn't be too hard to do. And that'll really show everyone else where we live that there's a, a lot of support for ending these lockdowns and getting things back to normal. And it'll help either convince bad leaders that, you know, don't do that, give us our freedoms, or help inform and empower good leaders to say, well, we've got popular support. I want to do this anyway, so let's let's open back up, right? And um, so the first point is um, the May 9th protest that was last Saturday, right? Um, it was uh, it was awesome. There was men, women, and children. There were parents and grandparents. There was even nice cops just keeping an eye on things, not messing around, not you know mixing it up with us, but just kind of you know uh, nearby and not too many you know, for the number of people there, because they know, right? We're polite, patriotic Canadians. We're not crazy, uh, Antifa, screw you, kill the pigs, nonsense, that type of thing, right? We're not into messing with each other, messing with other people, breaking stuff. We're just polite, patriotic Canadians who care about people and, and people where we live and where we live. And so, eh, typically nothing to worry about, right? And we'll, we'll police ourselves if any of us gets too out of hand, right? Um, but um, but it was a very diverse crowd, um, you know, in, in many ways, um, and they were all fighting for freedom. And I've got a 31 minute uh, highlight video plus raw videos that you can use to make your own videos. And they're available at this channel. So do check that out because uh, it's really inspirational to see the variety of opinions there. Um, you know, people uh, you don't all have to think the same. We can't all hear the same things, think the same things, say the same things, and do the same things, and then be bored and boring, and too bored and boring to bother talking anymore. I mean, that doesn't make any sense, but you get a nice mix of different people and different points of view um, at, at one of these, right? So that's the first point. The second point is um, get off the international net. Get off the international net, right? Now, on the international net right now, I like the international net, you like the international net, we all like the international net. However, um, you know, uh, if you get off the international net, then you'll feel the real energy of real people, right? Not just looking at people, not just uh, talking to cameras or talking to cameras or or typing to, you know, often strangers on the internet, but actually connecting with real people, especially proud, polite, patriotic Canadians who can show and get respect, who take themselves, each other, and where they live seriously. Those are great pay people to connect with. So if you get off the international net when it comes to these issues and what you care about and so on, and you connect with a large group of these people, you'll feel that energy, you'll be part of that energy, and you'll feel much better. So um, that's the second point. Um, the third point is uh, bring your signs, uh, bring your flyers, bring you know whatever you think is, is, is necessary, bring music. You know, if you got music there, if you got an amp, portable speaker, you know, whatever, different people can perform. For example, I was at a, a Canadian kind of nationalist rally, and there was also an Antifa style kind of opposition kind of rally there um, last summer. And uh, as a, a, a proud, polite, patriotic Canadian man, right, that I know I put off that vibe straight up with guys, nicer to girls, nicer to me, and hey, everyone happy, right? And um, and so a couple of uh, uh, cute little Antifa girls talked to me, right? One talked to me a bit about borders and this and that, doesn't believe in them. And we talked about, well, I said, well, do you believe in borders at all? Like your house, your personal space. And we, we got into a nice little 10 minute discussion, which I have on film. And then another uh, cute little Antifa girl, she kind of sidled up next to me and she was like, hey, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're on the wrong side of this thing. And I'm like, listen, I just want to talk to people who get along, blah, blah, blah. So I chatted with her and she was wearing a mask and sunglasses and combat boots and black jeans and a gray sweatshirt, but just a cute little you know, young white uh, Antifa girl. And just catch my vibe goes, meh, 
this guy's not bad at being a man, so I can be good at being a girl. And we, we had a little conversation. And as part of our conversation, I kind of out debated her a little bit and then backed off a little bit to let her kind of relax and get her bearings. And, you know, I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. And then she pointed out to me, hey, you know what? Our music is much better than your music. And I was like, you're absolutely right. At the left wing protest, the music is much better. Um, they, they've got more of that type of party vibe going there, whereas at the more conservative nationalist right wing protests, typically not. Now, this anti lockdown protest is not left or right. You can come out, whatever. But the, the general point is that music does help these things. So do consider that as well. Um, and, um, and, and, and you can express yourself freely at a great party. You can film it. You can post clips everywhere to reach Canadians. Show that we're not yahoos, like Doug Ford says, or bozos, like some other Ontario mayor said. And you can beat kind of, you know, bad leader and, and bad media images of people that are opposed to the kind of draconian measures that are out there, right? Um, and show Canadians that, 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 you know, polite, patriotic Canadians have more fun. So be one. Right, you don't have to be, you know, uh, sullen, bitchy, silly, bitchy, shrill, bitchy. You don't have to be a mess, fashionable mess. Right? You can be no, proud, polite, patriotic Canadians. We have more fun. You should be one. Right? See for yourself and come on out the next time. Right? Um, so, so that's uh, an important point. Um, finally, last point I'll get into now is the offline info war. Right? And uh, and I'll explain what that is in a second and how, you know, we won it last time. Right? Um, now, protests are great. They're great parties, and they're great to show strength in numbers. They're great to show, wow, look at all these people here. This is great. We're all in one place, right? Um, however, we are uh, outside on, on Saturday, May 9th, and then this coming Saturday, May 16th, 2020. We will be outside of Queens Park, north of College and University, the Ontario Legislature building, right? Now, nobody's working there on a Saturday, and there aren't a lot of other people around there on a Saturday right? Or, or generally speaking, right? It's just not, there's, you know, 3 million people in downtown Toronto, 5 million in the greater Toronto area. So we're not reaching uh, all those people. Um, even if we're there, we're showing that we care. We're showing strength in numbers. We're showing solidarity. We're together. We're making a good impression that we can capture on video and share with other people or pictures and so on. We're feeling, you know, strength in numbers. It's, it's a good idea, right? But then there's the offline info war, and the offline info war is basically, um, you know, you can you can um, if you want you can collect emails or trade emails with people who you get along with, right? So you can connect beyond just the event, right? Um, and you can do more. You can have meetings, right? And you can have meet and greet tables when you're allowed to, or you set up a little table with a bunch of patriots, and you're kind of in a popular area of town, and uh, and you know, if you ignore people, ignore you. Say hi to people who say hi to you. Um, you talk to people who want to talk to you, or if people just want to, you know, if they're busy, they, you know, they don't want to talk, they don't want, they got things to do, but they want to take a little flyer, right? A little poster flyer, DVD or something like that, and just take it and go. You can have those there and there's, you can see the links below for my, uh, eight per page or 10 per page flyers that you can download. You can adapt if you want to change them for your own needs. <clears throat> and, and they're great because, you know, if you make a big eight and a half by 11, piece of paper and it's got all sorts of crazy stuff on it, you know, people might be like, ah, I'm not sure if I want to take that. But if you make, you know, eight or 10 per page or four per page or six per page or whatever, but smaller ones, people can be like, yeah, okay, I'll take that, put it in my breast pocket, got some errands to run. And then when I get home, maybe I'll pull it out and I'll look at some of the uh, explanation, brief explanation on here, look at some of the websites you recommend, and I'll be able to hear different and think for myself, especially when it comes to this sort of thing, because then, you know, it isn't like, well, I believe in this. Well, I believe in that. Well, let's argue, you know, that uh, that's often what happens when it comes to different belief systems. You're like, don't worry about it. Right. Um, there's a, there's videos at my channel, right? I mean, um, of me, uh, when we did this last time, we used this to beat swine flu last time. Um, there's a guy uh, coming up, just tall white dude. And I was there and this is a sample of, of what's going on. Some people just handing him out this and that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just just like anybody else with flyers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just take them, take them, take them, whatever. You know, your business or come on over and talk to us. And this guy said, you know, hey, I got a vaccine. And I feel fine, you know, whatever. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, cool, that's evidence. But here's what I want you to do. Take this little piece of paper. It's got some people that question the vaccines. And if you think it's smart, enjoy. Do you think it's stupid? Laugh at it, throw it away. It's no big deal. They cost like two cents each. So don't feel bad that I gave you something that's putting me out a lot. No problem, right? Um, 
and and so on. So meetings, meet and greet tables, posters and flyers, DVDs as well. Although they're not as common these days, so you can use websites that have videos playing on them. Um, and and you can also um, you know uh, uh, put posters up you know around where you live, right? Slap up poster here, there, whatever. And I recommend not just kind of uh, uh, info, and I recommend not insulting people, but I recommend making things easy for people, right? Um, helping them think for themselves, right? And even in terms of personally passing on information, instead of saying, you need to think this, you can say, what do you think of this, right? I think this is kind of neat, but I'm not so sure. You're smart. What do you think of it? Maybe you can tell me. If I'm wrong, I'd sure like to know so I can change my opinion and be right. But if I'm not wrong, then maybe you can consider this and you can kind of enjoy and possibly share it. So um, so that's basically the offline Infowar and see more in the description below on that. Um, otherwise, BK from Infowars.com. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, get in touch with questions, answers to work together or financial support and uh, see more in the uh, links below. And I do hope this helps. Hope to see you and uh, a lot of people you know who enjoy seeing each other on Saturday, May 16th, 2020 from 12 to 3 p.m. at Queen's Park, uh, north of College and University in downtown Toronto for the next uh, anti-COVID-19 lockdown protest where we'll all have a great time and we'll show everyone else how to and then everyone else will want to. We'll have polite patriots all across Canada who um, get along great with each other and get our government to give, give us better customer service, which we deserve. Uh, and there you have it. Hope this helps and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.